And then he's like, so, so what do you do? I'm a skateboarder. Hey everybody, my name is Eli Morgan Gessner and I'm the style editor here at Uproxx and today I'm doing an interview with Giovanni Retta who just made a documentary about the legendary Nora Vasconcelos. Wow. Yes. I like that. And we're going to be talking uh, to them about uh, Giovanni's new documentary he's done about this legendary little tank of a woman. You're kind of in the, in the cut. Right, you live in the country in Massachusetts. Yes. Mm -hmm. You get into skating. Like when I was starting or off around that time, my dad would take me to Skater's Edge, which was this indoor, mm -hmm. like gritty in like an old mill building in Taunton. But I would go there, and I would go on Tuesdays because it was girls skate free. And I would show up there, and I was pretty intimidated. And I would just go skate the bowl myself. Is and then that eventually, how it happened? yeah. And then because your bowl skills are phenomenal. Oh, thank you. But yeah. that's I think why I skate transition. I called her. I was like. Hey, so this is what we're doing. Yeah. And she was like, Okay. Let's do it. Yeah. Okay. Like, cool, I don't know cool. why you guys want to do this. And this is one of those things I wouldn't have done it with anybody else. You would only do it with Retta. Pretty much. Yeah. Especially based on like what he's done in the past. The Brian Doc, that was kind of like a big turning point for the skateboard industry and then for Brian himself. 100% seminal. I don't mean this is a diss towards any other uh, female skaters. There's always a certain like feminine body mechanic. Too. Yeah. Uh, literally the first time I saw clips of you, I was just like, oh, look at this dude with the long hair. You know, <laughs> so which sick. I know. That's so sick. People it's, always tag me. Well, I always, I've seen photos of, of guys and I was like, is that me? It's kind of hard to translate it to people that don't skate, like yeah. how important oh, style is. And especially Nora has this like unbelievably amazing style like what? we were talking about. There was this weird thing that sort of happened in the early 2000s where I would talk to kids who skate for me and they would be really excited on someone's style. Are you talking about his what he's fashion wearing. style? And they were like, yeah. And I was like, that's not what skate style is. Every other day I get hit up right now. That's like, where do you get your pants? Specifically the purple ones. Like, where do you get your pants? <laughs> where do you get your pants? Now? Like, I make them. Really? Mm -hmm. Well, I don't sew them, but they're white dickies that I just dye. Nora is the epitome of what a skateboarder is. Yeah. You know, every skateboarder that I've looked up to from when I was a kid, mm -hmm. and the ones that are like the most influential. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, Nora has that, like, the style, she has the personality, she has the tricks, she's an artist. One of the things that was, I found, shocking mm. in, in Reda's doc is your slams. And oh. I love that sort of thing. There's you know? definitely more, too. There's way like, more. You just need to be totally comfortable with the fact that you're going to get hurt. Yeah, well, in the film, she says, when it came to skateboarding, she's like, yeah, I'll bleed for this. Yeah. And that's kind of like, oh, uh, I'm Giovanni Retta, and you're watching Up Rocks. Thanks, Eric. Right, okay, see you outside. Let's go. Okay. Bye. <laughs>